Yo, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Pro Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And in this video, we are going to be doing a full free to play stone count for the 300 million download celebration. Now, there are two main reasons why I decided to make this video. And the first one, honestly, is just to satisfy my own personal curiosity. But the second reason is just that a lot of people have been asking me to do a full count. And I got to tell you guys, doing this tally and making this video has helped me realize that the 300 million download celebration has been one of the greatest celebrations in the history of Dokkan, even rivaling the four year anniversary that we just got on Global. As far as free to play stone compensation goes, you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about by the end of this video. But before we get started, just a few things I wanna get out of the way. The first thing is that I did the entire count manually by myself and while I tried my best to include all the sources of free to play stones and you know add up the numbers correctly, there is definitely a chance that I made a mistake somewhere or I left out one or two sources. So definitely allow for a small margin of error as far as the final count goes. And the second thing is that as a global main, I will be using the information from the global side of the um, celebration. But when it comes to the JP side, the stone count should be relatively similar. If anything, there should be a few more stones for the JP players. So keep that in mind as well. But with all that said, guys, let's jump into it and start from the very beginning with the countdown celebration. And I do count this as part of the 300 million download celebration since it's directly related. And we're gonna go down here to the first thing where we got stones, let's see. Okay, so there's the countdown login bonus. And from that, we got a total of 10 dragon stones. And then the next thing that we got stones from was the worldwide celebration returning campaign where uh, we basically got stones based on the number of players that returned to the game during the celebration. And once we cleared all those steps, we got a total of 40 dragon stones from that. And then the last thing, as far as the global side goes, is the new uh, Androids in Action campaign where we got the Yard Rat Goku. And from the stages as well as the associated missions, we got a total of 19 stones from that. And that is pretty much all there was as far as stone sources for the countdown campaign. And if you add everything up real quick, here we go, equal sum. And we just include all of these, of course. We are looking at a total of 69 dragon stones, nice, from the countdown campaign. And then from there, we're gonna move on to part one of the 300 million download celebration. And uh, before you even get into the actual events, we got the live stream, which gave us some previews for the upcoming events. And from that, we got a total of 50 free to play dragon stones right there, courtesy of the skinny man that broke all those tiles. Thank you very much, skinny man, the community. We'll never forget you and uh, let's move on now to the first thing here which is the login bonus and this login bonus actually includes the free to play stones from both part one and part two and it's a total of 74 stones since we've got two stones a day for uh, I guess it would be 36 days right so that's 74 stones for the login bonus for part one and part two and then for daily missions, for part one, we got a total of 16 stones. Actually, minor change. I decided to just combine all the daily missions from part one and part two. And once I did that, we're looking at a total of 37 free to play dragon stones for the entire celebration from the daily missions. And then next up, we have the special missions for part one only, which was 27 stones. And then next up on the list, we have the tile breaking challenge. And for that, we got seven stones a day for five days so you multiply seven by five that's 35 total stones from the tile breaking challenge and then next on the list is the eat up and fight missions which were absolutely amazing it was basically one mission every single day for seven days that gave us 10 stones so seven times uh 10 is 70 total dragon stones from the eat up and fight missions and then we have, of course, the LR Gohan and LR Cell Dokkan Fest events. And uh, for those, we got two stones each. And then there was the new story event called the uh, Mysterious Monster Cell. And from the stages plus the associated missions, we got 18 stones. And then there was the Ultimate Confrontation Cell Games event, which gave, gave us 22 stones from the stages plus missions. And then there was also the Chamber of Spirit and Time, which primarily was for Elder Kai's and uh, the new training location. But there was also one stone involved in that. And then, of course, 
we have the new category Super Battle Road stages. There were 10 new stages, and uh, for each stage, you got one stone for the first time clear, but also five more stones from the missions. So that's five times 10, plus another 10 stones for first time clears. We're looking at a total of 60 Dragon Stones from the new Super Battle Road stages, plus of course the new LR, which is a bonus, but of course that does, that's not included in the count. And there's also a new boss rush, which Global and JP both got. Global got one that JP already had, which was, I believe, boss rush 8. And JP got boss rush 9, but both sides got 35 stones from the new boss rush. And uh, this is not stones. Um, top grossing, I'll talk about in a second. And there was a new Ultimate Clash Androids edition. And from that, we got 31 stones from clearing the stages as well as associated missions. And uh, I think that's pretty much it as far as campaigns that gave stones for the first part of the celebration. And let's talk about top grossing. So we actually got um, a lot of stones for top grossing plus some additional bonuses for part one. And the first source was the first top grossing where we got 50 dragon stones for achieving top grossing in seven different regions. But then a couple days later, we also got a second top grossing, which is another 50 stones, so that's 100 stones now from top grossing. And then a couple days after that, we got this dual Dokkan Fest rewarding bonus, which gave us another 30 stones. And then there was also a second rewarding bonus, which gave us another 20 stones. So we're looking at 100 and uh, let's see, 50 stones, 150 stones from the top grossing plus rewarding bonus. And once we do, uh, you know, we want to add up all the stones we got from part one, and this actually blew me away. We were looking at a total, or we are looking at a total of, here we go. We're looking at a total of 614 dragon stones. Free to play, completely free, from part one of the 300 million download celebration alone. And I had to double check this like multiple times because I was like, is this for real? Like, did we actually get that many stones? But I mean, everything here checks out, man. It's all in the news, it's all right there in the game, and we did actually get these stones. So, yeah, apparently we got 614 dragon stones for part one of the 300 million download celebration alone i mean okay that's not fair to say because i am including a few um you know login bonuses and a few daily missions from part one but i mean even even taking those out we're still looking at like five what five fit 580 something like that but uh either way that's that's a crazy amount of stones and of course um this 614 will make sense once we include part two as well right but that that is crazy guys and if you add that up with the uh countdown campaign we're almost at 700 stones guys not even including anything from part two which we're currently on and uh one thing i do want to say by the way is that for part two things do get a little bit iffy because there are some things that haven't um been announced yet or haven't happened yet that we know are happening but uh, for that reason, the numbers are going to be a little bit rough, so like like I said in the beginning, do allow for a small margin of error. But yeah, so for part 1, or for the countdown campaign, we got 69 stones. For part 1, we're looking at around 600 stones. And then let's get to part 2. Okay, so for part 2, um, we're starting with the, let's see, the Dragon Ball Hunt campaign, Dende the New Guardian. And from that, we're getting 55 stones. We already got the 35 from the Dragon Balls, but there's an additional 20 stone bonus that we are getting very soon that will add up to 55 stones total for this campaign. And then there's the Ultimate Life Form uh, event, which basically is the lead up to the Perfect Cell Raid boss, which I'll get to in a second. And we get stone uh, three stones per day for five days for a total of 15 stones. And then there's the ever so controversial Extreme Z area event. And um, I know a lot of people did not like this one. I personally was not a huge fan either. I mean, I didn't hate it as much as most people did, but I still thought it could have been more interesting. But either way, we got six stone stones in total for this uh, from clearing the stages as well as the related missions. And then we had the uh, Infinite Dragon Ball History event. And from this one, we got 40 stones. Actually, I think it might be 42. I don't remember if we got one stone for first clear. Give me one sec, guys. Okay, so I was way off. We actually got 60 stones. 60 stones for clearing all the missions, and then an additional two for clearing each stage for the first time. So for the Infinite Dragon Ball History event, we actually got 62 free-to-play stones, which is 
Amazing, that's awesome. And uh, next up is, so there's no stones for this, there's no stones for this. Um, oh, okay, so I almost missed this one the first time through, but there's the Sell Bingo uh, Facebook campaign, and actually I think it's Facebook and Twitter, depending on which version you're playing, but uh, they just released the rewards for completing the entire campaign yesterday, and we got, or we're getting 30 stones in total, which I have no doubt we will get the full reward for the campaign, so that's 30 stones right there for the Sell Bingo uh, social media campaign. And then there is the 30th World Tournament, and when it comes to World Tournaments, it's a little bit iffy because um, obviously the stones you get will vary depending on what your local ranking is, what your final like overall ranking is and stuff like that. But in general, I did the tally of the missions, the tiers and all that stuff. And everybody, if you do all the really like all the, you know, win missions and all the points missions and stuff like that should get at least 52 dragon stones from this world tournament. If my math is correct, like I said, I tried my best. It could be a little bit off, but that's the number I got. 52 in total for uh, everything, not including the local ranking as well as the overall ranking. And then there are some special missions for uh, part two that are at the bottom here. Uh, let's see, okay, yeah, so worldwide celebration special missions part two. And for part two, we got a total of 29 dragon stones for the special missions. And then, uh, well that's everything that's concrete. Now we know for sure that a perfect cell raid boss is coming because that's the event that's going to be unlocked after we clear all the, all the levels for this ultimate life form event. But we don't know for sure exactly how many stones are going to be coming for this raid boss campaign. What we know for sure is that we are getting stones for the first 30 levels of the event, so that's 30 stones alone for clearing the stages. And then on top of that, based on my experience with past Extreme Z battles, we usually get about 5 dragon stones in related missions for doing things like awakening the unit that you're collecting the medals for, right? And then on top of that, there should be some kind of campaign for uh, Global and JP working together to take down the raid boss. And if we just base it off the Jiren from last year, which I don't know if that's a safe assumption because we didn't get stones for the first 30 levels for the Jiren event, so maybe this is not going to be a thing, but assuming that we do get this raid boss campaign, uh, we should be looking at around 25 stones for reducing his, his HP all the way down to zero. And then there's also the raid boss missions, which if you look at the Jiren from last year, uh, we got six stones a day over the course of, I believe, six days for a total of uh, 36 stones for the daily missions. And then on top of that, there was an additional two stones, two stones, and three stones for some additional, I guess, limited missions or special missions. So in total, that's 43 stones right there, which I don't know, once again, if we're gonna get. As you can see, there's a question mark uh, beside these ones. And then the last thing that's a bit of a question mark is top grossing. And I'm not sure, like, 100% if it's gonna happen. I think JP is definitely gonna get it, but when it comes to global, I'm not 100% sure because I know if it was like the instant transmission Goku that a lot of people were expecting for the featured like new LR, there was there would be no question that we would get top grossing for part two of the celebration. But because it's the LR androids, which I know a lot of people are far less excited for, far less hyped for than the instant transmission Goku, this one definitely is a bit of a question mark. I still feel that there's a very high chance, like maybe. 75, 80% chance that we are still gonna get a top grossing. And if that does happen, I'm expecting another 50 stones for top grossing for part two. But once again, like I said, these three things are definite question marks. So about, you know, 100 stones with a variance right there. But let's say, assuming we get all these things and we add everything up for part two as well, that is a total of, let's see here, 402 dragon stones for part two of the 300 million download celebration. So that's 69 for part one, 614 for part, oh no, sorry, that's 69 for countdown campaign, and 614 for part one, including some, uh, you know, logins and stuff like that from part two. And then for part two alone, it's 402. And then once we add everything up, guys, all three parts, the countdown, the add, the uh, part one stuff, and then we add the part two stuff. We're looking at potentially a total of 1,000 
and 85 Dragon Stones for the entire 300 million download celebration. And that's what I said, guys. Okay, I lost it. Hold on. I was trying to make it like extra big, but I lost it. Here we go. Uh, okay, there we go. 1,085 from Countdown Part 1 and Part 2. And that's why I said in the beginning of this video that this is one of the greatest celebrations we have ever received, even rivaling the anniversaries we've had in the past. The three-year anniversary was awesome. The four-year anniversary was awesome. Obviously, they were both great for free-to-play stones. But this is right up there, guys. This is like right up there in the upper echelon of best celebrations we have ever received as far as free-to-play stones go. I know some people are going to complain about things like the Extreme Z area or the fact that we got the LR Androids instead of the Instant Transmission Goku or some other things, but this is like pretty much as close to objective proof that this is a great celebration that you can get, man. And um, I got to give it to Bandai, prop to Bandai for giving us this many free-to-play stones. And like I said, this information is based off the global side of the celebration, but I think for JP, the count should be even higher. Um, I think this video would have, just been, would have just been like way too long if I did a simultaneous count of both sides. So I decided to go with the global side because I am of course a global main. And uh, yeah, dude, I mean, <laughs> if this is how many global got, I can't even imagine how many JP got, maybe 1200, 1150, something like that. And uh, once again, just be extra clear, this is not the final number, right? This is not like the concrete number. There is going to be some various depending on what happens with a few things, especially with the cell raid boss. So let's say somewhere between, you know, 950 to 1100 is the range. And um, it, either way, like the average is still going to put us over a thousand stones for the celebration, which just blows my mind, man. It really does. That is... That's wild. So uh, props to Bandai for that and hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below if you find any issues with my calculations or with my tally or uh, anything like that. I would love to know what I did wrong if I did do something wrong. And uh, also let me know your reactions, man, to that final number. I'm sure a lot of people did not expect that massive of a number, but I mean... I think everything that I, I said or I talked about that added up to this final massive number was legit and it was announced in the game and we did get the stone so or for most of them at least and uh yeah that's what that's what we came up with man so that <laughs> i can't believe it but uh yeah this is a lot of fun to do hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it and uh, as always if you guys liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time i hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out